Bass Global Ministries welcomes you to Flashback Friday. Pastors Jeff and Demetria Bass have been teaching and preaching the Word of God with clarity and simplicity for over 25 years. Now, let's flash back to one of their classic messages. We forget. We get amnesia. Oh, my God. Did you say I got to give? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's a, here come a great testing. Right after the great blessing. You get promoted on your job. Here come a, here come a, here come a test. So get ready for it. Don't think it's strange. It is unfortunate that the widow's faith should fail. Verse 18 talks about that. But for the right way to react to disappointment and trials, we need to look at 1 Samuel 3.18. Psalm 119 and 75 talks about how we ought to react when it comes to bad things. Give me the boy, was Elijah's answer. I'm not going through those scriptures because I got to keep going. For he knew he could raise the dead boy to life again. This is the first recorded instance of resurrection in the Bible. You see, Elijah had been almost dead spiritually, and God resurrected his dead spirit. And now Elijah had the faith to ask God to resurrect this young boy. The miracle brought forth a testimony of of faith from the woman. But it couldn't have happened if the man of God didn't have the faith of God to bring the boy up. And the only reason he could do that is because he had experienced God resurrecting him. So if you don't want to go through the resurrection period, that means you don't want to go through the death. Well, you're thinking of natural death, but a lot of times what they're talking about is dying to yourself, dying to your will, dying to your stubbornness, dying to your selfishness, dying to your pride, dying to your rebellion, dying to your envy. I envy you. Well, you got to die to that because God ain't going to bless that mess. I'm helping somebody this morning yes, sir. on the tape. I don't know your name. What's your name? But I'm helping you. Yes, sir. What season are you in? Are you in a dry season, depleted season, or a dead season? Mm. It really doesn't matter to God because he's a season specialist. He's a seasonologist. My, my, my. I just made it up. I'm going to patent that word. He's a seasonologist. You can do that. Pat Riley patented it three peat. If you ever try to use three peat, you're going to get sued. By the former Lake or the former Laker coach, who's now the Miami Heat coach. Soon as they won two, he was smart. I don't know if God gave it to him, but whoever he went and patented the word three Pete. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the devil even give you witty ideas and inventions, but I know God does. So don't nobody try to do that. Write that down. See, seasonologist. <laughs> God is speaking. Now, having been trained and tested, this is deep here, in private, the prophet is now ready for his public ministry. Because, you know, he had raised raised the boy, and the woman has seen the faithfulness. Great was the faithfulness of God and the man of God by God. God. So, God commands him, now, go back. Mm. Let me see. Tom, I can talk to you. The problem is the same enemy that we're trying to run away from. My God, my God. My God wants us to go back. Not by, not, by, not by my might, not by my strength, but by his power. See, God wants you to go and get equipped. And then he wants you to go back. But see, we want to say, ooh, I can't go back over there and him. I'm scared. Yeah, you are. Well, walk in the power and the might and the strength of the Lord. Let the Lord fight your battle. Now he done got equipped. Now he done got energized. He done did like underdog because in that ring was a super energy pill. He was ready to go now and take on the world in the power of God. See, before he was scared, he's not a wimp anymore. He's not a wimp anymore. God commanded him to face wicked King Ahab. Let's admire Elijah's patience as he waited three years to preach one sermon. And most of us complain because we've been waiting. (laughs) Three years to preach one sermon. When are they going to let me preach? When am I going to talk? When am I going to cut my record? When am I going to get my promotion? When, hey. (laughs) 
that moves us to the end of the story. I don't need about six or seven more minutes. It's just not nine o'clock for the clock watches. <laughs> Amen. Let me call because this the, this the goodest part right here. Yeah, I know it's bad. I, 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 I intentionally say that. It's goodest. That's better than better. That's goodest. Man, that's, that's spoon licking good. When mama cooked that cake and gave you that spoon and let you lick that, that, that hey, hey. That's better than the cake. Mama, can I just lick that, can I just have that, uh, that batter? Thanks for joining us on Flashback Friday. If you enjoyed this message and would like to hear more, join us this weekend online for an encouraging and life-changing message. We are Bass Global Ministries, and we're building an online community of believers who desire to get closer to Christ and grow deeper in God's Word. Visit our website at www.bassglobalministries.com. That's www.bassglobalministries.com for service times and more information. Bass Global Ministries, the place to gather, grow, and go. Be blessed.